Will we have managed care? Uh, yes, that's the, that's the intent, is that we have four contracts with managed care coming in, and so we will fund out of the $8 billion that we spend in uh, to cover about a million lives that are on Medicaid in the state of Oklahoma, there's going to be $2.4 billion that are covered through a managed care system. So we'll be asking uh, hospitals readmission rates. We'll be asking about uh, getting people into primary care earlier. Uh, so there, there will be... Um, Inside that eight billion, part of that money will be carved out through uh, through the managed care. Well, I don't know if it's part of the budget budget agreement. In the budget agreement, we don't have uh, funding to change anything. Uh, like they said, the 164 million in expansion costs will be paid for out of the healthcare authority. Uh, you you got a comment on that, Tom or Chairman? Okay. Um, but the 164 million is going to be—it's not appropriated to the healthcare authority. Um, inside, and I think Chairman Wallace said it. There's about five percent that's available, and we think that we can pay for that expansion population um, out of the healthcare authority's budget already. They're not having to appropriate another 164 million. Uh, Carmen, keep in mind that whenever the people pass Medicaid expansion, they put it in our constitution to pay for. And as a, as a budget writer. I'm obligated to raise the funds and somehow that we pay for Medicaid expansion. It's the health care authority that decides on the executive level how to dispense that. So your question directly, are we funding uh, the, uh, the Medicaid expansion into MCOs? And we're funding what the people of Oklahoma put into the Constitution uh, that we must fund. Pretty much a recap, I guess, because the state question in 802 funding is taken care of. Um, there is enough existing funding currently at the health care authority for this upcoming year. But we put in place a plan within this budget with the latter approach on shop to continue to pay for as these federal dollars start to fall off. And there's additional funding that's coming in with an enhanced FMAP rate that started, which was 6.2, started last year about March, right about the time the pandemic hit. It will run to the end of this calendar year. There is another uh, increase of 5% for any state that has not expanded yet that will go to the end of the federal fiscal year of 23. So that will go basically to October 1st of 23 for us. But when that stuff falls off, we do have the plan to continue forward with the ladder on shop. So the answer to your question, the expansion is paid for based on the vote of eight, question 802. There's currently funding at the Health Care Authority to pay for this year, but we have put in this budget in a plan to pay for it on into the future. 